I'm gonna kiss on the cheek. Oh. <laughs> wow. That was a bigger risk than I was expecting. I think Kelly Wakasa is awesome. I love his videos. I think he's a really charming guy. I think he's really wholesome. He's got a good head on his shoulders, but I've already reacted to a Kelly Wakasa video before of him going on a date. And uh, I gotta say, it came off real fake. It came off real plastic. It came off real YouTube-y. It didn't look real. And so everybody's been asking me to react to this. You know, Kelly, Ashley, your mom's house thing. And so I'm already coming in skeptical, okay? But I like Kelly. I think this has potential. So let's see. It could be awkward. It could ruin the friendship. It could ruin- That's my couch right there. That's awesome. The date. Yes. Interesting. Why? Well, just like, just for fun. We're just roommates. We're just friends. Yeah. It's like, it's just like a friendly date. I go on dates with my friends too. We've gone on so many. Yeah. It's so weird that he goes, it's just for fun. Oh, it's just friends. So, okay. So it's just for content then, right? What's the other reason to go on a date? Why do you call it a date? Why don't you just ask her to hang out with you? So is it just friends or is it just a date? Which one is it, Kelly? Good morning. Why is your shirt inside out? <laughs> <laughs> I was curious. If you wanted to go on a date tomorrow. On a date? Yeah. Me and you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll go. Okay. Okay. She actually looks interested, and this actually seems real. Like, it doesn't look planned. By the way, this is the first time I've ever seen Ashley before. I've never heard of her. She's adorable. She's really cute. I mean, she looks like she's got a great personality, really charming, and it kind of does feel like they would be a good match. So, let's just keep going. Yeah, it's officially the yeah, day get of that the shaving date. I am roll. a bit nervous, feeling good overall, but a bit on edge since I don't want to mess things up. You think I should get her flowers? Does she like flowers? I know you hate flowers. I know I know you hate flowers, and I think she doesn't care. I mean, well, how'd you get something worth off of it, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> he just said she doesn't care. I don't think it's that deep. It's just like for fun. I get fun. Dude, dude, dude. Is it a date? Are you attracted to her? Do you want something to happen? Or is it for content? What does just for fun mean? When is a date not for fun? I'm just, I'm confused. The only solution I have is that Kelly is scared that like if it doesn't work out, they could just be like, oh yeah, it was just for fun. We're just friends. But like, why would you just go like, oh, we're not really on a date. Like this is just a goof. Like I'm just goofing around. <laughs> so pretty. Thanks, Kelly. Where are we going? Surprise. Surprise? Okay, I'll grab my jacket. I feel like it's interesting because like we know each other so well because we're roommates. Like going on a date is like we're just like hanging out almost. Yeah. Friend. This is my bestie. This is my little sister. Don't say that. <laughs> uh, I forgot my wallet. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. You're worth every penny. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I thought you were serious when I heard and I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 That's actually happened to me before. Like I've been on a date and I didn't forget my wallet, but actually there's a funny story about that, but I didn't forget my wallet, but for some reason my card genuinely did not work. Like there was money in it, but it did not work for some reason. And this happened so long ago, but my date had to pay for the whatever it was, drinks or dinner or whatever. It was really embarrassing, but it does happen. And then once I did have a client where I was like helping a client out on a date and he literally did forget his wallet. So then I had to pay for the day. I guess that's karma. You want a spoon? Yes. You want a spoon right now? <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with some easy questions. Okay. Ask me my name. What's your name? Most people call me Kelly, okay. but you can call me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a joke that you were you Oh my god. I'm so cold. I wish I had a warm body next to me. Woo! <laughs> Hope I don't get a boner. Kelly! <laughs> this is actually good stuff. I mean, out of context, it comes off weird. I hope I don't get a boner. Why would you say that on a first date? Isn't that creepy? They already have this kind of like best friend dynamic. They already have chemistry, so they already get each other's sense of humor. So it's actually a good thing when you're on a date with somebody to throw in these little like sexual innuendos, little jokes about your attraction to the person because it actually lightens the mood. It breaks the ice. It it takes the pressure off. Now, if Kelly was saying things really serious, like, oh, I really like you and I really want a warm body next to me. And like, it was a serious thing, that would be creepy. That would put the pressure on. Because it's like a half joke that Kelly's doing, it allows the two of them to comfortably be a little more intimate with each other if they want to, but no pressure because again, it's just a half joke. If he was fully serious, that would put the pressure on Ashley to be like, okay, I have to like reciprocate and like act really interesting 
interested in him because I can tell he's so serious about this. So what he's doing is actually really good. And remember, this is a date. Like they are not just friends, even though he's going, oh, it's just a goof. It's just a joke, but they are on a date. So when you are on a first date, you guys should be attracted to each other. That's the whole point of going on a date. So expressing your attraction to the person is an important thing. The best way to do it is through a sense of humor, joking around about it. Anyway, let's continue. What's the best date you've ever been on? This one. <laughs> you barely started. We should just end the date if it's already been. Already, this is a great shot. I love this idea. Both of them riding on the skateboard, kind of holding each other. It kind of sets up that intimacy. And also, don't they just look great together? They like look like they are already dating. Whatever. I don't know if we're going the right way. I don't know where we're going. We're going to the boathouse. Are they not open? Dude, the boats are closed. Now this is the worst date ever. This is ridiculous. It's closed. <laughs> You have beautiful eyes. Thanks, you too. That was really good. And by the way, I just said before, like saying something serious is not that great because it puts pressure, but Kelly's really calibrated. He knows what he's doing. He's a charming guy. So when he did this, like he made sure to build up some chemistry before. The fact that they're holding each other, that they're really close. And when they look at each other, it makes sense to express his attraction at this point. But notice how he doesn't just stick in it and go, wow, you will really, are. like he says, you have really beautiful eyes and then they kind of hold it and then let's see what happens. I wanted to kiss you. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. So that was great. What he did is he felt the tension that they had by looking at each other. They're holding each other. It's a real romantic moment. And then he breaks that tension by going, wow, I, I wanted to kiss you right there. That was really weird. And the cool thing about that is he broke the tension by making a joke, but he also did so simultaneously by showing his attraction again as in the form of a joke. What's happening between them right now is perfect so far. They keep building small tension throughout the date. And this is what you want. You don't want want to break tension. You want to keep building this kind of like, ooh, I kind of like you, but we're not fully diving in yet. We're kind of just like flirting with each other and you keep building that throughout. And at the end of the date, maybe they kiss, maybe they won't, but it doesn't even matter if they don't kiss on the end of the first date because between this date and the next one, that tension is gonna keep building and they're gonna keep thinking of each other before they see each other again on a date. If he went in for the kiss right there, obviously you know that wouldn't be calibrated that it wouldn't warrant it yet, it's too early. But to say, I really wanted to kiss you right there, weird, says, wow, I was feeling something, but there was a barrier up. The barrier was we're riding on a skateboard and we just have only been on a date for an hour or so, so far. So it's really not the right time. But once again, it gets them now thinking about kissing, but not having it right in your face forcefully. It's kind of like in the back of our heads. Okay, we've brought that on the table. The difference between no attraction, no intimacy whatsoever on a date where you guys just act like friends and then full on like, I'm in love with you. Oh, I just want to kiss you right now. Too much, right? So right in the middle is where you want it. Building that tension where it's like, I'm showing you my interest, but also we're not going all the way right now. <laughs> Let's get down to the nitty gritty, okay? Okay. What are we? Mermaids. If he said that in a serious way, that it wouldn't work out, it wouldn't be calibrated. But because Kelly and Ashley, they already have a chemistry together. They already know each other's sense of humor. So Ashley knew that Kelly was just playing around. He was just joking. But again, what he's doing is he's throwing in these little bits of interest and attraction towards Ashley. It keeps the vibe up. Now, of course, this is probably like a three hour date and he's probably editing in all the spicy bits into 10 minutes, which makes it seem like he's just just showing his attraction over and over and over, but it's more likely that he's doing this every now and then, like once every half hour or something like that, which is the right way to do it. <laughs> so I'm just like... <laughs> Hey. <laughs> so what Kelly's doing right here and what Ashley is also doing is so great. He's not trying to be this like alpha male, red pilled, dominant guy. Does not contribute to attraction. It does not help your connection, your chemistry, and your attraction with somebody. I know all the red pill boys in the comments are gonna go, what are you talking about? It's giant, blah, blah, blah. Listen, Kelly is a charming motherfucker. He knows what he's doing. What he's doing is he's balancing that best friend 
dynamic, coming to her as an equal, treating her as a best friend while planting little seeds of attraction throughout, little sexual jokes, little mentions of interest throughout the date. So he builds the tension while being friends and not coming off needy and not coming off like super brash and, and like dominant, which is not a good idea. That actually brings two people away. It builds up a wall. It's not that good to do. I've been on a million dates before. I have literally tried everything for the past 20 years of my life. And so far from what I'm seeing, everything's going really well right now. Everything's going really smoothly. There's no creepiness. It's all fun. But at the same time, they're slowly amping up that attraction between each other while still keeping tension. You can most easily do this when you have fun with the person. You're goofy. You treat them like your best friend. That is when it's so much more easy to for two people to get intimate, to get close. When you create this like really polarizing dynamic that they teach on the internet with really crappy dating coaches that don't know what the f they're talking about, you are literally just making it harder for yourself. I promise you. And honestly, so far, like I don't want to give him a big header or anything, but so far, like this is a great video to study how to have a first date. Obviously, like I'd love to see the full stretched out version so I could really break down the conversation because guys, listen, I literally just released a course on conversation this week on Skillshare and it's hours long where I'm breaking down how to approach somebody, what to say in the first minute, how to turn that one minute into an hour, how to never run out of anything to say, how to flirt with somebody, how to show your attraction. Like we showed how Kelly was expressing his attraction in this whole video, but I haven't really broken down how it works. I'm going to be breaking down conversation for anybody in terms of dating, how to make friends, or even business relationships. Great conversation conversation is universal. It doesn't matter what gender you are, what age you are, what ethnicity, you, it doesn't matter. You could be a good conversationalist no matter what. You just need to learn the skills, practice the skills, and then you could walk into literally any room and make friends with the people that you want to. Build attraction with the people that you want to. And the greatest part about this new Skillshare course is it's free. If you're a Skillshare customer, it's already up there, so you could just get the course for free. And if you're not a Skillshare customer, there's literally a free trial for Skillshare when you click the link in the description and you get my class for free. You don't have to pay anything. Now, if you don't know what Skillshare is yet, it's an online learning community with thousands of different courses. It's a place to get inspired and learn new skills. You don't even have to just watch my course. You could watch my course and after that, there's an Ali Abdal class on how to become a YouTuber. And just in the past couple of weeks, like I've been using Skillshare myself and I've been learning so much on all of these different courses and they're so well made from so many different people and a lot of creators that you probably already know about. And when you sign up for a free trial with Skillshare, there's no ads. You're just going to be learning. Like that's the focus of Skillshare's platform. Now it doesn't matter if you're a dabbler or a pro, there is a class for you in so many different topics, photography, filmmaking. And before we get back to the video, the thing that I like the most about Skillshare is that it's a community. So when you're watching a course, you're able to actually participate in the class projects and comment and really interact with the other members. For the the first thousand members that sign up below, you click the link, you get my course, you get all the other courses, and you get it for an entire month for free. So I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. So like, is that impressive enough to get your number? Any kiss on the cheek? Uh. <laughs> Ah, okay. That was a bigger risk than I was expecting because like, once again, it's on video. Like it still could be assumed that Ashley thinks, oh, this is just for content. Oh, he's just joking around. So sneaking in that kiss on the lips so early without, Again, I'm not there, so I can't really sense, but like, it's so, so important. And I talk about this in the conversation class. It's so, so important to be as focused on how that person's vibes are in the interaction. Are they liking this? Are they kind of feeling weird? But again, I trust Kelly. He probably felt that that was appropriate for the moment. So, I mean, if she's liking it, cool. She wouldn't be showing this on camera because she doesn't want to make this awkward if she's not interested. So I probably wouldn't advise to do that so early on a first date. Again, they're friends, but okay. Nice. You got the nice. Just Good bad shots. News. We're going ice skating. Really? Yay! <laughs> I'm excited. Let's go. This traffic, this is like we're in Los Angeles right now. Ooh, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right, my turn. 
Do you see how they play? He's not doing like, oh, I am spinning you because I am the dominant alpha male. No, he goes, okay, my turn. He's always keeping that friendship dynamic, which is so important. Let's do the sampler of six fresh pickles. Does it matter if it's like a small pickle or a large pickle? It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> it doesn't matter to you. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we got a small pickle, it's fine? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay, cool. That's yeah. good to know. Let's get some small pickles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the pickles. So you see how he keeps throwing in those sexual innuendos. It's just enough. He's not going so far overboard where it's like awkward and weird and cringy. Again, Kelly knows how to dance on the line of like what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. And I talk about this in the conversation course, which you can get in the <laughs> link in the description, but this is a very important skill to have, knowing where that line is and Kelly dances on it really well. Need more closure. What, in the video? Yeah. Well, because it's not over. Oh. Are you serious, Kelly? I'm getting you back. No way. You got me, and now? I guess it's only fair. It's only fair. I have to wear that. I have to wear it for a long time. Oh my god, are you serious? You know I'm into this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run into a wall. Ashley, I love you. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> uh, up, up this. Oh, up Fuck. this. Kelly! <laughs> we got. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Surprise. <gasps> no, really? <laughs> I've never been in a helicopter. I know. Wow. Oh, what? So the cool thing that's happening right now is Kelly waited till the end of the date to do the helicopter ride. The thing that he did on the video that I reacted to is he made all of these like big crazy experiences the date itself, which is not good because then you don't have the potential to actually connect with the person. But these two, they had that whole date to get to know each other, right? They went to the cafe. They went skateboarding in Central Park. They went ice skating. So all of these little activities are good for connecting conversations. A helicopter ride wouldn't be good for that unless you've already established a connection and have chemistry. That's when it's good to do these big activities on a first date or a second date. But honestly, I would save this for when you guys are actually dating. It's good for the video. I'm just glad that he kept it at the end because then it makes more sense. Not going to lie, today was something out of a movie. The energy I felt, the adventures we shared, the fact that my mind was stuck glued to each and every moment we had. You know what we're doing? What excites. I know, I just gotta say it at least one time per video to make him happy. <laughs> and although this is amazing, there's still a lot to figure out since we are roommates, but we'll cross that bridge. Wow, I'm honestly really impressed. Like it felt real. I don't know if they really like each other yet. I mean, I'm not gonna watch these next videos. We gotta get this video to 10,000 likes or 100,000 views, whichever comes first. And then I will make a part two and perhaps even a part three of the Kelly and Ashley, your mom's house saga. <laughs> But so far, honestly, I could say, you could study this as a first date. It went really well. Obviously, this was a much longer date that they put together in 10 minutes. So they had much more conversation that was probably a lot more in depth where they got to know each other on a deeper level. And he kept like all the spicy parts for the video, which is totally fine. So make sure you share this video with your friends, like the video down below. Let's get it to 10,000 likes as fast as possible, everybody. Now, if you guys wanna make this really interesting, DM Ashley, DM M. Kelly, ask them to come on my new betas podcast for an interview. I'd love to ask them about their relationship and how this all happened and what's to come of their relationship. Cause God knows I can't get these like titans of YouTube to come on my little betas podcast. But if you guys DM them, they'll go, oh wow, there's actually interest for this. But anyway, 10,000 likes, 100,000 views, part two. And if you want to learn great conversation and to be a great flirt like Kelly or Ashley, click the link in the description this new course I'm so excited about. You're gonna learn so much. You're never gonna have to worry about like, oh God, how do I like flirt with this person? How do I express my attraction? How do I get them talking? It seems like I'm talking the whole time. Or how do you compliment somebody? How do you ask somebody out in a non-creepy way? All of this and more in my new conversation class. I'm so excited to get it out to you guys. And it's free. Once again, free. One month of Skillshare. Thank you, Skillshare. Click the link in the description. Bye-bye.